Hey guys, it's Mike at youarethepath.com. I took a little break. I needed to take a step back and look at my life from a fresh perspective and to get to know myself on a deeper level. What I've noticed is the more I'm doing this, the more I'm taking action on what excites me, the synchronicities in my life are speeding up. I'll go onto YouTube and I'll click a video and the guy who's on the video will say something that I was thinking. He'll say the very words that I was thinking to myself only moments earlier. I find that um, the information that I need at the specific time that I need it, I'm finding it. And it's creating this adventure and I've been, for me, right now, it's been very much the adventure of making that journey from here, no, making the journey from here to here. And the ancients say that that's the longest journey you'll ever make, the journey from the mind to the heart. Quieting down the internal dialogue, keeping the mind calm. Now, it's not that you don't think. You still have the faculty of thinking. It's that thinking becomes better. Because you're keeping the mind calm. You're turning down the volume on the inner chatter. And you can tune in to the subtle voice of the heart. So that's what has been happening with me right now. Now when you're experiencing these synchronicities, when you're getting access to the information that you need or other kind of opportunities that arise, the opportunity that you needed, let it be obvious that you are being guided. Let it be obvious that there is a force greater than yourself, greater than the ego self. Let it be obvious that there is something that is orchestrating the unfoldment of your path. We live in a participatory universe. When you start to participate in your own life, taking responsibility for your life, when you begin to do that, Things start to happen. Things begin to unfold in a way that you couldn't have imagined. Remember, it's not our job to figure out how it will unfold, how it will happen. Our job is to take action, to take care of the physical organism, make sure it has what it needs to the best of our ability. We are 70% water, so it's keeping it simple. We're 70% water, so keeping yourself hydrated is going to help. Keeping yourself oxygenated is going to help. Doing breathing exercises, whether it's qigong, tai chi, stretching the body, whether you do that with a basic stretch routine or you want to do yoga. If you're watching this, you've got the internet, so we have access to all of this information. Make use of it. There are other people right now who live in parts of the world. They don't get the opportunities that we get. If they had the opportunity that we had, you know, they, they would <laughs> grasp that opportunity with both hands. And that's what we've got to do. We've got to, well... We, I'm not saying you have to do anything. This is how I do it. This is a way that you can do it. It's not the way that you can do it. It's a way that you can do it. And I remind myself whenever I can to be grateful. The attitude of gratitude. You know, today is a day I have today. And if I have access to water today, I have access to food, I can sustain myself, I have a roof over my head, I'm a rich man.
today and I take action in the direction that excites me to the best that I can. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you got something from that. I'm going to keep these videos going from now and we'll see how that goes. As always, take care. Peace.